Hi, so here's a video I shot for a company called Shout Out Health. I shot this like a few months ago, early 2022, but they ended up not needing it anymore. So I thought that I would share it with you here. Hope you enjoy it. And today we're going to dive into different aspects of French culture. So first of all, French cuisine. As a French nutritionist, I have to start out by talking about the way French people view their food. French food is associated worldwide with haute cuisine, which means like high cooking, and French people really, really value their food. They really view eating as an entire experience, and for them, it's very, very important to dedicate time to their meals. And they are very likely to have long lengthy meals with their families or even at work they get like long lunch breaks they really enjoy spending the time to actually make home cooked meals and to eat with other people at school as well kids have a long lunch break little kids in france enjoy the same meals as their parents they don't have like special kid foods they just enjoy the same traditional french foods that are served to them and some of these French traditional foods include bœuf bourguignon, blanquette de veau, pot au feu, ratatouille, quiche. And then wine, bread, and cheese are also an essential part of every French meal. French values and relationships. One of the most important French values is equality and making sure that everyone is respected and taken care of. And the French social system definitely reflects that. And a lot of French people are very inclusive and tolerant towards others. Family is also a very important French value. They always make sure to prioritize families, their family and family time. For French people, social conventions are important as well, along with with exhibiting like appropriate levels of formality. French people often really like automatically respect their superiors. Um, they, they follow this, this hierarchy in the work setting. They're usually pretty formal and reserved in a work setting or when talking to um, their bosses and things like that. This is very different from the more laid back and chill American approach. I would say that French people have a less positive, less optimistic approach to life when compared to American people, but they are more straightforward and honest. It really can take a long time to build a relationship with a French person, but once you have one, then you'll have someone that will be loyal to you and stick by you until the end. Fashion is a huge part of French culture, especially in fashion capital Paris. A lot of French people have this simple yet sophisticated style and they like to be elegant and polished almost effortlessly. Be it at school, university, or work, girls and women especially really like getting put together they really enjoy fashion and they prefer fashion over comfort and they like being in like cute yet stylish elegant clothes french women like to be elegant and put together when they leave the house but this doesn't mean that it has to be anything like overly fancy they can just put on some jeans and a nice top they don't necessarily have to go for like the skirt and the high, the high heels or like a designer coat a lot of french women also dress for themselves they like to kind of follow their own style and not necessarily go by the trends and it's something that's very enjoyable to them again they don't see it as a chore it's just something that they find fun and french men are also getting increasingly into fashion and it's kind of the same vibe they like to have this kind of nonchalant yet elegant style they also prefer clothing that is a little bit more like professional and serious rather than anything that's like really extravagant bold anything like that french art art is also a huge part of french culture and is found literally everywhere especially in major cities like paris you'll find many architectural styles just by walking down the streets of paris you'll find modern buildings and you'll find also older more like classic architectural styles paris also overflows with museums like the famous louvre and there are also tons of exhibitions and many artists french artists but not only french artists have found so much inspiration in paris cinemas theaters ballets operas they're all very dear to french people who really enjoy the entertainment as well as being cultivated. So hopefully you enjoy this little insight into French culture and had fun comparing it to your own culture. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.